here. It took away our, it took away our history. And you told us, it was mythology. And that salmon, I know it smelled good, I just don't eat no fish. Oh, it's so important that Every we. Good. Oh, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. So, we, we definitely grateful. We, we, man, uh, we, uh, it's so important that we educate ourselves on food that is not processed. Eat everything that has a seed. If it don't have a seed, look, do not eat it, people. It is not real. It did not come from the earth. It was created by white folks in a laboratory. Do not eat things without a seed. If you do, you are inviting cancer, mucus forming diseases into your body, dementia, high blood pressure, uh, impotence, all of it. Girls, dry coochie. Yeah. We ain't gonna talk about no impotence. This is all the things and the effects that these people are having because medically, the, the, the pharmaceutical company now can make drugs to offset dry coochie and, and, and uh, erectile dysfunction. So they're making money off of it hand over fist. And they work together. The food and drug companies work together. And it's the food. Now, mind you this. And the reason why I say it's the food because look here. The Heart Association is being backed by the biggest beef company. Dairy companies. These are the, the the these are the foods that are giving us the sicknesses. The dairy, uh, and, and the process and the meat and, and the and the process and, and the the raw sugars and all of this. So it's so important that if you don't want to eat right, at least respect your kids' life and feed them a plant based uh, lifestyle until they get old enough to choose that they want to eat a hog or chicken or cow or whatever. You let them do that, but I'm just saying, please be mindful, black people. We have to start eating to live uh, because food is our medicine. That's right. Yeah, I heard, uh, I think it was uh, the brother we had Pata on the show. Pataha Sika Asar. Pataha Sika he called it, um, he called it a, a living. You're eating to live, right? And then the European uh, way of eating, he calls it a diet because you're eating to die. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a... Um, a good analysis of um, how he says you should eat, you know, basically just eat. He said the same thing you said. He said, um, don't eat anything that doesn't come from a seed. And he says, when you, after you eat, he says, don't drink and eat water at the same, don't drink and eat, uh, don't drink liquids and eat at the same time because it, it causes you to get, roof. yeah, it causes you to get bloated. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and it dilutes, and, and it will dilute the natural nutrients that's in that food. Uh, you're not supposed to drink at least four to six hours after a meal. Well, I, I'm just saying, that's just how I, you know, I, I, I ain't no scientist or no doctor. <laughs> but listen, folks, it, it's easy to do, believe, believe me, it's, it's easy to do. It's yeah. definitely easy to do. You know, it's funny, because when I was a little girl, my granddaddy used to say, if you touch that goddamn drink, I'm going to whoop your ass, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 we're yeah. saying that that's something that our elders knew, and they're coming right back with it. There's a reason why they used to say that. Mm -hmm. Eat all your food, and then you drink. Till this day at 49, y'all, I still have that habit. See, that's me too. I don't touch my drink until yeah. I'm done eating. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. the importance of knowing not only the fact that my brothers are talking about the importance of eating right, we got to understand the spirituality of that's that right. plant and that seed. That's right. And I'm always going to come from a spiritual standpoint of view because we have to understand, you know, Everything is spiritual. Nature is spiritual. So that seed, that plant, everything we have a saying in Africa, everywhere there's sky, there's spirit. So that plant has a spirit, okay? And when they make the mistake of taking that plant and bringing it into a, 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 a what do you call it, a plant or whatever you do and do whatever they do, chemicals, Monsantos, whatever they do, we got to understand that they're killing the spirit 
of these plants, which is taking away from the spirit of humankind. So it's very important in this time of energy, um, going through our transformation, going forward as spiritual beings living a human experience, that we understand that we must have real seeds. We have to have real seeds because if we don't, we're not getting the spirit food, which is the food that the spirit that comes from the actual seed of that plant. Okay, so yeah, very important. Changing your diet. Eat greens. Don't eat anything dead. Yeah. Nothing dead. No dead meat. Nothing. And actually, the seed too from the seed. Although I throw down on some, um, you know, uh, <laughs> fish, y'all. But I'm gonna stop eating that too because the elders back home in Africa said it's time for us to stop eating from the sea because the sea is going through a transformation too. That's so true. we have to stop eating anything from the sea. I can't answer. Okay, who is it? Uh, answer it. Tell them I'm recording right now. Thank you. <laughs> so <clears throat> with that being said, um, these are the steps that we're going to take to teach y'all, show y'all, and help those out there to um, take the next next step in uh, this transformation is hitting the earth and this energy to help guide others to um, to the same path that we're on of enlightenment. So we're not here to uh, sell you anything, but we're here to help you grow. Damn, you say also. I'm about to sell them the whole goddamn Egyptian <laughs> goddamn death. I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But we will have things in the future. We will have things to sell. Almost but we're, but we're, our, per our sole purpose is to oh, yeah, help y'all yeah, yeah. out there. Let's just yeah, let's get that understanding. This brother here is a whiz with the with, with the beads. I'm talking about the brother know what's going on. So if y'all need them beads, really just to put that extra off in your day, that's the that's the brother there, and and, and and protection oils and everything. These are essential tools that we need every day. You can go and spend your money ninety dollars on a bottle of some Tom Ford or uh, wild orchid. You can come spend some money on some things that's gonna protect your existence uh, on this planet. Be, be more responsible, with black people. Be more responsible by black. Especially, appreciate that, brother. Almost definitely. And I'm the alchemist, y'all. I create the medicine, the food for the soul. Okay. Know that. <laughs> that takes you on a spiritual journey to the sixteenth dimension. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Get with it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to give y'all, we're going to end out with the card of the night, okay? The card of the night. We hope y'all enjoy the show. We appreciate your insight. We appreciate any feedback. We appreciate if there's something you want us to talk about, you definitely can hit us up here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. You got any questions? Right. Or uh, 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 how, how to come to an understanding of, of, of the path that you need to go in spiritually if you if you want to know how to uh, get this type of information or if, uh, what you have to do to set yourself up to be, to unlearn and relearn the truth. The truth. The truth and nothing but the truth, y'all. And uh, also, also um, August the 3rd, we're having an event um, in Atlanta. At the Cascade Nature Preserve, uh, we're going to be doing uh, the event. We're going to be rising up the ancient ancestors. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's Iraq Amenra. We're going to be rising up the ancient ones, y'all. Y'all have to come. Um, it's going to be a very powerful event, and that's only because the land here in Atlanta was once connected to the land in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that, but you will find out when we come when you come to that event. And when it's we, a free or, event. It's free event, exactly. Um, August third at two p.m. Be there on time, otherwise you will miss the powerful energy of many, many of us calling upon these ancients to rise them up. So do come out August third, two p.m. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. That was magic. The magic of TV, bam, it just pop up like that. <laughs> okay, my card is one to six, y'all. Let me, let me pull up my book, because y'all know, dog gotta, yeah, I gotta use my book. One to six. Let's see, hold on. Let's see, the one to Look, six. we can use the book and edit all that out. Huh? We can use the book and edit all that out. I sure can. Yeah, that's all right. Um, let me see. One to six. Let's 
we want a success, victory, success, clearness, realization of the mm. dream, public honor, surmountable obstacles. Mm. Wow. Y'all hear that? One, two, six. Look at that, y'all. Look at that right there. I got, a, I got a trump card right here. That's the same card I pulled at the beginning. I got the hermit. The same as competition. You would the future competition. Uh-oh, it's all in popping, y'all. All right, the card I got is um, the death card. Y'all yeah, know the death card represents transformation. We're going through a transformation. And that and that's what, you know, mainly the topic was today, trans uh, going through the transformation and rising y'all up and rising, helping everybody on this planet come to an understanding spiritually physically and uh, metaphysically and rising up. Brother, what do you have? Well, I got a powerful card. I got the hermit. The hermit. Uh, it's uh, enlightenment within. <clears throat> uh, the, hermit, the hermit is telling us to, hey, we got to uh, draw back within ourselves. This is, this is a spiritual awakening. This is time for a spiritual awakening. This is time for being illuminated. This is this is what this card means. Uh, this card represents the hermit represents uh, illumination from within, divine inspiration, wisdom, prudence, circumspection, retirement from participation in current events. Your religion, in other words, <laughs> uh, retirement from that, and that's a powerful card. Once again, this is six powerful cards tonight. People, please listen. We are on a spiritual awakening. This nine, this nineteen, this year nineteen uh, is the is, is the year for uh, us all coming to become aware of our true self. All right, we're gonna throw a twist in this show. We're gonna put the cards down. We're gonna ask for insight of our own intuitions because we all connected to the all. So with saying that, um, pretty much for the last topic, really of the night. Both of my brothers, what do you all see for the month of July for the people? Because I'm sure as oracles, they want these answers because we are the oracles. So what do you all see for the month of July? We're going to start with... Okay, then go ahead. All right. For July, what I see is uh, it's funny because Spirit just automatically said transformation again. And I pulled the card transformation, but what I see is... Uh, what I see is like... In some places, natural disasters are uh, coming. I keep picking up, um, keep picking up flooding uh, somewhere. It's gonna flood somewhere, and it's weird because I don't think it rained that much in July. I keep picking up flooding, um, and I keep picking up uh, just transformation. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, waking up um, like just in droves, like. About a hundreds of people just waking up, coming out of uh, religion. Um, I just see a lot of transformation, a lot of exposing. A lot of things are going to happen within our government. People are going to keep getting exposed. Governors, uh, pol police officers, a lot of stuff is going to come to the forefront that people aren't going to be able to run from. And, and as opposed to getting, uh, getting off and getting away with things this time, that's not going to happen. People are going to be held accountable for the things that they do. Especially to our people. This is what I see for this month. Okay, brother, stop me. Uh, I, I definitely see uh, for this month, uh, the Spirit is telling me, pay y'all power bill because it's going to be hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing, that real shit. Uh, uh, on, 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 a, on a more serious note, uh, I do see that uh, this will be a time where black people will start to take a stand due to this social media thing that's going on. Uh, let's police the police. Let's police the police. That's, that's what I see. I think, uh, just like the brother at Denver said, I think a lot of things are going to be exposed this month. I think it's just going to be a, a floodgate of, of exposure this month. But also pay your power bill. Oh, yeah. All right, that means uh, um, Rye is going to be doing his thing, y'all. 
It's going to be very hot. What Spirit is showing me for the month of July, we're going to really see a big event. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be something like a 911 event. I'm seeing a, like a really big thing happening. Um, get ready. Um, with the, what, what Spirit is showing me is between the, the righteous and the unrighteous, we're going to see a lot of chaos with politics, with, with human beings going, taking place. Um, you're going to see a lot, of more, a lot more negativity in society as well because we are going through transformation. But we will experience some type of big event. I don't know if it's a major earthquake or, or some event like a 911 event where it's going to be on the news and they're going to say, oh my goodness, there's going to be all this news about something happened. I also see that there's going to be talk of war in the month of July, basically towards the end of July. Spirit has shown me between the 23rd and the 25th, you know, maybe a little bit earlier, that there's going to be talk of some type of war taking place. Um, of course, Trump is going to be running his mouth and they're not going to like it and there's going to be threats of war going on in July. Um, but uh, on the flip side of that, there will be a lot of people that are going to be getting blessed this month of July. If you have been walking a righteous path, talking a righteous path, and doing what you're supposed to do, do look forward to your blessings to begin to manifest. And especially because we are in the time of, you know, transformation and manifestation of, you know, being blessed for all of the things that we have to see in the society, such as, you know, the police brutality, the negative, you know, you know, energy that has been handed to our people. So, as I always say, family, their doing will be their very own undoing. Do look for more of their unrighteous ways to be exposed, like the brother said. Oh, you, they're going to be exposed. You're going to see a lot more exposed of what they're doing. You're going to see the lies. Politics is going to be exposed. You'll, you'll see. It's going to be a lot that's taking place where, you know, we're going to be sitting back with our minds open like, damn, wow, really? This happened? That's right. And, 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 I, and I think that this month, the black dollar will gain a little bit more respect. That's good I, to know. I, yeah, I, I, I just, I, that's, that's what, I, that's what I see. I think, I, I think I dollar gain a little bit more respect. I don't know if the spotlight will be shining on it, but I just feel that, you know, this will be the month that our black dollar will gain a little bit more respect this month. And yeah, you know, that's a big possibility, brother, because at the end of the day, the real uh, rising, the energy starts July twenty fifth. Oh yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Of the um. The hel heliacal rise of Sirius uh, B. Since our people come from that star system, you know, and I just see the energy changing for them. So that's very really true that it could, you know, I'm telling you because uh, July 25th, right? It starts. So we're going to see as melanated people, we're going to see a lot of our blessings coming to fruition, including what you're talking about. I see that, like our finances and, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 more and more. But, but you know what's crazy? Spirit to show me too, more black folks are going to be opening their own businesses. Almost definitely. And we're going to, this time around, we're really going to be really supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Like we're supposed to. That's what mm -hmm. I see. So with saying that, yeah, that's right on point. That's right on point. Um, I, I do want to say that it's important though that in this month too, because it is a major transformation with this Heliac. Uh, and, and let me explain that so people understand. When we talk about the Heliacal rising, we're talking about the sun, the Sirius B, and rising over the pyramids of Giza. Mm -hmm. We do know that these pyramids are made of granite, mm -hmm. which is energy. The pyramids of Giza, as well as the Sphinx, the Sphinx is the overseer of the earth, right? They're all co uh, connected to every ley line on this earth. Mm -hmm. Now, the energy that is coming from this Sirius star is getting ready to do something to humankind. So basically, you're going to feel like you're in another dimension. See, people don't understand how, how serious this is. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? It's very serious because when that star rises over, that, that actual star system is going to emit what we call CMEs, which is coronal mass ejections, mm -hmm. which is going to emit a powerful energy down through the pyramids. And, it's going to, and because the pyramids connect every ley line on the earth, mm -hmm. it's going to affect us. Mm -hmm. So this is why I keep pushing it. It's so important that we understand it. And as it does this, then we begin to, um, how can I put this, evolve more spiritually. So we're, coming, we're becoming more spiritual beings now. Mm -hmm. So we're on a higher vibration, which we can't be touched, mm -hmm. you see. So that's what's taking place. So with saying that, um, 
do get ready for that energy because it's powerful. This is where we're going to start seeing that black dollar come back to the community. That black dollar and circle. That's what this series D is for to help with the transformation of that. Exactly. And, and one more thing before before we, before we get about it. I just want to tell black people, don't get carried away over this reparations talk. Now, if you know anything about the reparations or anything like that, there has been studies done on reparations. That, that is a physical list out of reparations that already has been paid and it had continued to be paid to the Jews anywhere from six to eight billion dollars a year. The Japanese even got reparations. Almost definitely. And, and, and American Indians got and, reparations. And, and, and yeah, and you, but you got to realize this here. <laughs> the fact of the matter is this here. America owes black people, the descendants of slaves, the descendants of the Indians, or anything, the descendants of the African, you owe us everything that this country was built up on and a study was done that if that would be the point you owe us 50 trillion dollars and 50 trillion dollars amongst 40 to 50 million black people if you do the math let's say that probably be about 1.3 1.5 million dollars for every negro in america please don't lose your mind <laughs> build black buy black buy black and I'm just letting you know because and because what the sister and the brother speaking on, it just the spirit just say, hey, say something about this reparation thing because it could be real. It could be real. But what I'm saying is, please people, build a new black Wall Street. That's right. Hospitals. Team up with twenty other millionaires. Have twenty million dollars. Start a bank. Start a hospital. Start schools. We need these things in our community. If this is possible, that we get it. We do have some black banks, though. Y'all need to start doing your research. Almost definitely. Yeah, we got a couple of black banks. We they got some, some black schools, but y'all. Y'all tighten up black bank uh, workers, because y'all some y'all some nasty folks. I, I, <laughs> y'all some nasty folks. Y'all tighten up, no. Y'all tighten mm, up, please. Well, you ain't never lying about that. Black folks, get more professional. Yeah, yeah, tighten up. Please tighten up on that shit. Because look, man, I don't have no time to come up in there dealing with my money and your attitude. Shit, that's too much. Yeah, that's we too need much. to be more professional. But we, 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 you know, we'll just that in another show. Because mm -hmm. we need to figure out why mm -hmm. they so goddamn nasty. Because I get mad too. I cuss them out in a minute. Don't you need serving me I, doing I, nothing. I, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to y'all too. Okay. I, I understand why y'all so nasty. I do. I do. There ain't no excuse, goddammit. It, 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 there's no excuse, but see, you got to realize that it's a script that these, these people are given, and they not to get outside of that script. And we must understand words are spells. Words are spells, right. and these people set us up in these positions. They set our women up in these positions. So when they do see a face that is is is, is similar to them, they will treat us totally unethical. But a white woman walk over there, you can't, you have to slap upside her head to quit showing all 32 damn teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what it is, and I, and, I, and I sympathize with that, but we got to understand when we see our sisters in these positions, we have to understand words are spells, and these sisters are under this spell because, see, this is what corporate do. This is what these corporate devils do. They know. They have designed ourselves, they have designed their. Uh, 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 livelihood off of our magic, so we must understand it. Yeah, we'll so, be taking our magic back. Almost I'm definitely, it's over with. It's over with. Words. 2019, it's over with. That's right. It's this is over with. It's, it's over a wrap. With. It's a wrap. That's it, y'all. So until next time, thank you for tuning in to the Oracle Truth. The Oracles of Truth. Of Truth. The Oracles of Truth. Oracles of Truth show, and we are the Oracles. The Oracles. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a good show. Yeah. The <laughs> What's this What is it like? Oh, the camera. Yeah. It took away out. It took away out. History. History. And you told us. It was my father, it was my father, it was my father, it's a way, I'm feeling nothing, I'm feeling nothing,